All right, work with me as I show you how this is one of the more uh, comprehensive um, cash book applications, automated uh, spreadsheet based cash, cash books have uh, built for clients. Uh, this was actually first built for a hospital client in the Kedja area of Lagos State. And it was used for, I actually understand it's still being used, but the gentleman who hired me at that time, who was the accountant, has since uh, left the company in January 2014 to start his own consulting outfit. He's a financial consultant today. But he, he, I built it for him in 2007 along with the payslip generator software, which is also a bit popular. Um, I've gotten bias for that number of companies. Now, I'm, I just want to show you how this was. I, the, the, my objective for demonstrating this cash book, and the, I have quite about three kinds of cash books I've had to build for companies. This particular one does not use uh, a floating data entry form, so you, you, you will see, you get to kind of compare in terms of ease of use and time savings people get. So, but it, this does have some very nice um, reporting interfaces that generate some valuable reports at least for the client. This was how they worked. This was the format they had. Uh, the data in it, of course, as you see now, is actually dummy data, but everything is uh, is real. And you, I just want to show you how, what is possible with Excel when you know how to use Visual Basic to control it and you know how to do intelligence best practice spreadsheet design. Now, take a look at the menu here. There's the update settings table. Let's go there. Uh, what you see is there's a column here uh, maybe I'll just do this. Let me introduce the heading so you understand how I want you to get a feel for the structure here. Nothing complex. There's a column where I put in the, where the users are able to put in the names of the banks they use. This will work with the receipts end of the well. In terms of the expenses and income earned, when they post money into uh, pay money into the banks and they withdraw money, they were able to track that in the bank cash book as well as the main cash book, and they impressed. Now. They uh, had the cost centers, the cost headings, the expense headings, the expense outlets, whatever you choose to call them. Basically, the categories under which the different expenses that are incurred in the company are recorded for accounting purposes. And so these were the ones they chose to have. We actually reviewed what they had over the, generated over a period of about five years, and we then decided to, to summarize the different categories of expenses under these headings. Then we had the um, receipts, how the uh money uh how do I now <sighs> medical fees transfers money paid to the directors things that in terms of uh, uh receipts that were used in the uh, bank cash book okay and then we had debtors these were the companies how do I put it now the companies that were receiving services from the the hospital okay so Typically, they were debtors in the sense that more often than most of these countries had a, an arrangement in which they would get the service, maybe medical treatments for their staff, and then they would pay up at the end of the month or they would offset whatever the due balance was by whatever they chose to give. More often than not, there was always some amount left that they needed to pay. So I guess that's why they were categorized as debtors and then the creditors, which in their case, I mean, you, you know what that means anyway. I imagine that most of the people that will be interested in these cash books will be people that have a financial background or who are accountants. So you will understand most of what you're seeing now. I really don't want to start. Most of what I know is because of the interaction I've had with accountants and financial consultants, auditors that I've worked with very closely. And so my purpose is not to give a lecture on how to set up an account system or a bookkeeping system. Just to let you know that this interface is allowed is used when the, when the customer, the client, begins to use the application. This is the best, first place they come to to put in their own data in order to uh, because all these uh, names that are put in here for instance will become available in the drop menu in the in-cell drop menu in the cash book interfaces so you need to have them in upfront and then of course if you're going to be using the bank cash book you want to be able to say okay when we made this withdrawal this was the balance that was in the account and then you use that to reconcile with the actual um, balance that the bank gives you in, in their own uh, report so what happens is as you post in your bank cash book you also you want it to have access to what your opening balance was. So when you're starting with a particular month or a day or a year, you want to put in what the opening balance in that particular bank account was. And that's what is done here. And then when you make your entry subsequently into the cash book, the cash book actually has an interface that does a bank reconciliation. Very, very useful. I've seen it used by this company and they will generate a, a paper-based report and use that to actually discuss with the bank. And many times they actually found that they could. They identified areas where there were conflicts and they were actually right in their own um, summary of uh, what the bank, bank should have been and the bank was forced to actually make corrections 
so very useful now this drop menu here is available with a navigation drop menu that I created allows you to move around in the work in the cash book application so you click bank cash book for instance it takes you to the bank cash book you close the form and then here you can make entries now basically what happens is you come to the to this column here and you choose the date on you want to you want to make the entry for let's assume we're making entry for instance for like I said you do it's not using automated form data entry form which would have made this easier you can see how I'm having to search for data for the date now you will then decide if you what you were doing was a going to be a cash lodgement or whatever this is the de description doesn't really be you use whatever expression you like here and then you have uh, the number for the receipt the receipt that was issued to the organization on the individual that received the service from the hospital for instance or your company right? it could be a sales uh, invoice number or whatever now because this is uh, the money that was paid into the, the the bank okay and then this is the so this was for instance this is cash lodgement okay so there wouldn't be any receipt number or whatever but there should be a teller number but i think they didn't in this case because this dummy data we don't have that but normally you would want to put in a teller number here and then you choose the name of the bank in which you paid money now because this is the bank cash book you are trying to capture all the information for all your banks then of course you'll be able to generate a report for each bank okay you'll see the interface where that happens then the the debtor that made payment um this is an example so the receipt that came from this particular bank this was the uh, um, receipt number and all of that you, the bank that money was paid into blah 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 again you just post your entries and this is the bank cash book this is the receipt sent on the cash bank cash book okay now if you go to the right you'll find out that this is the payment end of the bank cash book you are actually able to use these two buttons remove and restore freeze to control what side is frozen and what side is visible I won't bother to go into that because this is not a user guide or training software. I'm just trying to demonstrate things to you. Now, you see post bank cash book to impress cash book. All right, so you you need to post uh, an entry to send to the impress cash book. So let's say I'll just say impress cash book to interest impress cash book. Then this is the bank I want to take the money from. Then I would go looking for the column for impress cash book because I want the money to go into the impress cash book. So you can see how difficult it is to scroll around manually if you were using the automatic form this wouldn't be it shouldn't be this difficult now we have that impress cash book now you, all you have to do is having posted the amount you want to send to the impress cash book which you are posting into the cash book payments end now to show the money going out from that bank in the bank cash book you post that the application says post the following data to impress cash book 8th may blah 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 it takes the date particulars to inc that's the description and then bank name the check number if you had if I had put in a check number it would have reflected it here if you say yes it goes and it actually does that now how do we know that has happened it's simple anywhere in the application press the enter key click yes then go into the impress cash book and you will see that that entry we just posted now 20,000 naira. you see impress cash book blah 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 and it, it's done it and if you do one more entry if I go back to the bank cash book using this um, let's see up 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 okay bank cash book well, I'm back here now and I made another entry let's say I chose to make maybe on the 10th of March to impress cash book again this time around I put a check number blah 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 and then I put a, a different bank maybe UBA first bank and then I go to impress can you see how scrolling 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 that can be quite a headache so that's why I love the automated forms. You don't have to confuse yourself so much moving around. But no problem. For this purposes of this demonstration, you get to see how this simple application works. You click the button to post to impress cash book. You can see it has now reflected the check number for this. Of course, this is all dummy data. I click yes. And then I can go and see what the cash book reflects now in the impressed. And I go back and I see that you see once again it has appended this to the bottom of the entries in the receipts end of the impress card book imagine how convenient this can be you know and this is still very manual compared to what some of my application automated applications do but this was what the uh, the court company did got for me in 2007 and i understand they still use it now and that's that makes the, that means they've been using it for seven years along with my pay slip generator but basically this allows them to tr to, tr to to track to do what they do on their paper-based system on the spreadsheets as well without having to stress themselves doing it uh, in the cumbersome manual manner of creating the formulas and everything by themselves now the there's a 
we looked at the impress cash book you, you, this is the impress cash book the receipts end now on the payment end with the impress whatever is used in terms of the money that came into the impress you I, like i said i don't want to try and sound like i'm teaching accounts or anything here for, or bookkeeping but you will make the entries there's a payment uh, voucher that's used you put the payment, payment voucher number maybe it's one and then you post the amount that was spent now based on whatever your post on the different heading whatever you spent on whatever service whatever area of expense you you use money on, on. the in, in the invoice the imp, uh, impressed amount of receipts is from there that the application will deduct what is expended okay you keep going like that um we have the trade credit trader trade creditors and debtors you will post relevant entries for each of them okay uh, again, if you're an accountant, you know what this means. I'm just showing that it's possible. If you were to interact with me, we will go through details. But for the purpose of this video, I just want to show you that that is that's an area that's taken care of. So they were able to generate the debtors and debt creditors schedule. Uh, and then we will now go to the receipt summary, which was a report that generated based on entries you posted into the different cash books. Okay. Uh, so the main cash book, you can see a summary of the receipts. Okay. Um, then you could go into the payment summary as well and again you can see the uh, summarize uh, summarization of the expenses and what happened is you could query this on a monthly basis you could look at the february summary you could look at the march summary you could look at the i mean right down to the end of the year you keep going and all the expenses are automatically accounted for uh, this is the beauty of it and then you could look at the bank reconciliation interface for instance we played around with um, fidelity bank okay let's generate that and you will see uh, I think we did entries for I think it was March. I can't remember now, but basically you see what it does. It does a reconciled bank balance, and it does a bank cash book balance. The reconciled bank balance, as the name implies, is the one that allows you to take care of the differences that may occur in between what you have and what the bank is telling you have, because there will be some that are unpresented checks, uncredited checks, and of course the COT. By the time you take care of those, your own balance in your software. Your closing back cash book balance in your software in the cash book this cash book software will also then come close or probably agree with what the bank says is their own balance you know that's what so we did this we actually found it worked so this interface here allows us to generate a reconciled bank balance for i think of close to 10 or more banks you know so if the if the company had that many bank accounts if not whatever number they had will be taken care of so you could just click the name of the bank and it will actually do it from january till december so you could actually compare print this out and actually compare it with what the uh your bank sends to you as a month end uh, month end uh, balance or whatever the breakdown of your uh, account uh, details you know so you you can i don't know if as you can begin to visualize what this simplistic application is able to do for the those who the clients that use it right now and um, my purpose here is to show you that with a little bit of automation and intelligent spreadsheet design so many things can be done you don't have to develop a software you want to sell to the rest of the world sometimes if you have the skill you know to automate excel in the way i do this simplistic manner you can actually make life easier for yourself in the company and your company you work for as a financial consultant and then if you are a consultant to other clients who use your services or maybe you're an auditor you could develop this kind of applications that will make it easy for your clients to give you the information you need to generate reports for them to do their end of year accounts you do their financial the tax reports and all of that you know you have this and you could even brand it this is one of the things i offer to do for accountants and financial consultants i offer to brand create this kind of applications customize them for your needs to suit your your needs and then brand them in your company name my name would be taken off and then it will be your company your logo your picture your website address that will be there and then you could actually prepare this as something you could sell to your clients and they will use it for the monthly or annual um, period you want to serve them in and then you could just get the data it generates from them and prepare whatever uh, financial reports you need to prepare for them to probably at a fraction of the price you normally would have to do it since your work will be reduced you know anyway so i uh, hope you've been able to get an idea of uh, the possibilities you know my purpose is always to work my clients work with them to see how they can make use of excel which is already existing on their computers to make their lives easier in terms of their ability to do the data data handling and report generation on a daily weekly monthly annual basis you know and so i yeah i do have some applications i sell but more often than not also i'm looking at just helping people to develop automation intelligent automation internally to make their lives easier you know 
so if you will be interested if you're interested in um, talking to me about doing something like that for you or teaching you how to do what i do uh so that you can become somebody who champions uh the automation of um, reporting in your company the way i've demonstrated here uh, get in touch with me my information is on your screen that's my phone number if i'm in nigeria my phone number if I'm outside Nigeria in Benin Republic, you can email me. It's much always, often the best way to go about it. And then, um, of course, go to my website, t a y o s o l a g b a d dot com, uh, and uh, uh, let me know how I can help you. Cheers.